In front of my melody, he's all the matters. He's all the matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. He's all the matters. He's all the matters. Oh, Thank you for joining. God bless you all. Mm. What will we gain? What are we going to gain? The Bible says, Heaven and air to pass away. Only the word of God can never depart. I don't really know what matters a lot to you. What is that thing that matters most to you? Mm. What, what will matter most in this time that we are now is Jesus. Nothing more, nothing less. You are all the matters. Mama, good evening. Good evening, ma. God bless you all. Mama, give God bless you all as you connect. Good evening to you all. My beautiful mom is in the house. God bless you all. Ooh, you are all the matters. You are all the matters. One thing I want to tell us is this. When you allow Jesus to be what matters most to you in life, I don't see anything that you will not be able to face and you will not be able to overcome. It is when a lot of us today, we just allow men to matter most to us. We always want to put men first before God these days. That is where we get disappointed. Like the Bible says, the acts of flesh will fail, but only God can ever fail. So I think what should matter most to us now is Jesus. Hey, is it the cars? Is it the house? Give them all to Jesus. Is it the name? Is it the faith? We are nothing without God. We are nothing. We are nothing without Jesus. What would become of us? What would become of us if God doesn't see us through? What will become of you if you sleep and God did not wake you up in the morning? Somebody allow God to matter most to you. Tonight, I want to be talking about setting your affection on heaven. Let it be your focus. Nothing more, nothing less. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. You are, mm. Put God in front. Put him in front. Oh, Jesus. Is all the matters. Hey, you are all the matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the matters. Let me tell you something. I don't know about you. I think the only people that have room in my life, the only person that have room in my life there is Jesus. Not the more, not the less. I put him in front of me. I put him in front of me. When you make Jesus the front, you, you make him the first man. No man we can mesmerize you anyhow. Why? Because you don't look unto men. You lift up your eyes up to the east. Two, four, seven. Yes. Nothing more will matter more to you than Jesus. Uh, this song has really been a blessing to me. Let me sing it to her. I put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all the mothers. What did you put in front of you? You are all the mothers. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. I put 
put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Beloved, I don't know what matters most to you. I don't really know what matters most to you, but I am here to test somebody tonight. Allow Jesus. Allow him to be the first man. A lot of us today, we always want God to follow us instead of us to follow God. This is the reason why we get disappointed. The arms of flesh will fail. Hey, the arms of flesh will fail. But God can never fail. Lord, I put my life in your hands, O Lord. The, the world mm, will turn against. But God can never fail. He is the same today. Today forever, yes, so he is the same yesterday. Today forever. Oh, 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 oh. Depend on him alone. I put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. Hey, you are all that matters. I'll make room for two. Mama, God bless you. You and I, Jesus, is all that matters. Is all that matters. Yes, my minister said the arms of flesh will fail. But God can never fail. And do you really know why the arms of flesh is feeling a lot of us today? Because why? We put them in front. Hey, somebody. I have come to announce to somebody tonight that you should allow heaven. Set your affection on heaven. Let go of men. Let go of men. A lot of us every day by day, you will keep up being disappointed. Why? Because you have allowed men to be your focus. You have allowed men to become what matters to you most other than God. In this era now, in this dispensation, the only thing I don't know about you that matters most to me now, I only have room for two people in my life. Jesus, nothing more, nothing less. Yes, a lot of people will say different kinds of things. Like I keep on telling us, examine yourself. Let's examine ourselves because the spirit, uh, the, the word of God says, our spirit bear witness with us. If of a true, we are children of the most high. And that is why anything at all that you know that this thing, if I am not careful with it, it will end up my works to become zero for God. You see that thing? My sister, my brother, borrow your leg, run. You better run. You run so that your works for God do not be in vain. That is why that song has really been a blessing to me. I put you in front. Mm. In front of my melody, Lord, you are all the matters. You are all that matters. I make room for two, just two. Hey, you and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. You are all that matters. Nothing more, nothing less. The Bible says heaven and hell to pass away. Mm -mm. But the word of God stands sure and it is seed. The word of God stands sure and it is seed. So like I said tonight, I want to be talking about set your affection on heaven. Or rather, let heaven be your focus, somebody. And uh, I just want to say, thank you, Jesus. You are the all-consuming fire. Mm. I worship you to the Lord. You are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. You are the all-consuming fire. I worship you tonight, Lord. You are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Set my eyes on fire, Lord. Mm. Make me a shining light. Set my soul on fire, Lord. Manifest yourself through me, Daddy. Speak through my voice, Lord. Hey, hey. See through my eyes. Hey, yeah. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Beloved, the Bible says the wickedness of the wicked will surely come to an end. Mm. 
The wicked think that they will reign forever. The wicked can never reign forever. The wicked can never reign forever. Because it is written that the wickedness of the wicked will come to an end. Hmm. You are the all consuming fire. I worship you to the Lord. You are the all consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Father, I just want you to manifest yourself once again. I just want you to manifest yourself once again. Hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are highly lifted up, Lord. There is no one. Alle, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, you are highly lifted up in this platform. There is no one else like you. Alle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly glorified, Jesus. There is no, there is no like you. Alle, 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 hallelujah. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the dark place. My God, that is who you are. Hey, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the dark place, my God, that is who you are. You are in, touching life, so run, Lord, Holy Ghost, hey, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, change the destiny, turn your life around. I worship you, God. I worship you. Power belongs to you, Lord. All power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth, in this place. All power belongs to you. Spirit of the Most High, I hand over unto you. Have your way, Lord. Mm. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Jesus, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Oh, Lord. Father, I just want to say, have your way tonight. Have your way in our midst. Have your way, Lord. Spirit of the Most High. Mm, I hand over to you, Holy Spirit of God, take control, take total preeminence control, be in charge, by your own self, do what only you can do, I have no wise of my own, I have no power of my own, Father, fill me once again, speak through me once again, teach us once again, give us the ability and the grace, oh God, to always become the hearers and the doers of your word, that we will not be a castaway, Father, perilous times, the days are near. No one know the hour. No one know the day. Only you know I saw God. I just want to say, Lord, give us the grace to remain focused. In this world of disaster, mm, in this polluted world, give us the grace to be able to stand out to run this race to the end. Give us the grace, Lord, to remain focused on you. Give us the grace that our heart, our affection will be on heaven not on the world any longer. Help us, Lord, to set ourselves apart for you to use. You are still looking for that one man, that one woman, that will say, here I am, Lord, use me. Father, I ask, oh God, by yourself, draw me closer to you in this end time. In these last days, by yourself, open the eyes of men and women to see what they cannot see for themselves. Open our eyes, Lord, to see what we cannot see for ourselves and give us the grace to be able to run to the end that we will not be a castaway in the name of Jesus. Father, I just want to say once again, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover this platform with the blood of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Do what only you can do in Jesus' name. I declare this meeting open in the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Beloved, I just want to say God bless you all for always coming around. Like I will always say, I don't take uh, I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. Without further wasting of time, I want to be talking about 
uh, set your affection on heaven, or rather let heaven be your focus. Like I said earlier on, just like the song says, I put you in front, in front of my melody, you are all that matters. I don't know what matters most to you. I think what should matters most to us now is Jesus. What should matters most to you and I now should be the word of God. What should matters most to us now in these last days Yes, it, it has been long that we have been hearing it that Jesus will come back again. Heaven is free, hell is free. I keep on telling us whether we like it or not, the word of God is sure. <laughs> I keep on telling us the word of God stands sure. It stands sure. Heaven is free, hell is free. Whether we like it or not, the end will still come. Are you prepared? What are you setting your focus on? What is your focus? Who is your first? Who, who are you putting in front of you? What is that thing? That you are putting in front of you. Like I said, nothing more matters to me again. Nothing. No matter how it is. Even if I'm being hated for it. Nothing more matters most to me again. Other than God. Nothing more, nothing less. It's all that matters. I don't know what still matters to you. That every now and then, I keep on seeing people crying of heartbreak. Who is breaking your heart? Because why? You have allowed the arms of flesh. Eh? You put, you, you put your trust on men. You leave God aside. For as many that keep on uh, uh, allow the arms of flesh to be what they depend on, or rather they put their trust on, you keep on having heartbreak every day. You keep on crying. You keep on crying. You don't want to cry anymore. Somebody allow God that ma to matters most to you. Allow him to be in front. So that no matter what you see, you will take your stand and remain focused. You will take your stand and run your race. But when you keep on allowing your trust to be on men, you keep on seeing disappointment every day. You will keep on crying. You will keep on sh sharing tears. Why? Because it is written already that the arms of flesh will fail. The Bible made us to understand that only God can never fail. And he said in the book of Matthew 24 verse 35, heaven and earth will pass away. So if, if, if heaven and earth will pass away, then why do you not think that men will always be your last bus stop? Don't make man to be your last bus stop. Make, in fact, make God to be your first bus stop and your last. It's the first and the last. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. So that you will not be having outbreak all the time. Things are happening today. A lot of people are, are in pain. Are in pain. You get disappointed. Get disappointed. Oh man! When God is telling you that he will be with you even until the end that he can never fail you. Yes. God has already given you that promise. He said go. Lo. I will be with you to the very end. So it is only God that can stand by you till the end. Sometimes we think that God is not there. Beloved, God is always by your side. So let ever be your focus. Set your affection on him alone. Set your affection on him alone. Now, what is the meaning of affection? What is the meaning of affection? Affection is all about having strong feeling. All about having a strong feeling, emotion, desiring, adoring, being devoted, tender-hearted towards something you love so much, towards something you cherish so much. You want to get it by all means. You want to acquire it. You want to achieve it. That is affection. That is affection. All about having a strong feeling, a very strong emotion. You adore it so much. You adore it. You just want to get it. You want to get it by all means. Anyhow. That is what I have come to announce to somebody tonight. That is how it's supposed to be. Setting your affection on heaven. You adore heaven so much. You cherish it so much. You want to be there someday. You want to get there by all means. So something that you don't adore, something that you don't devote it to, something that you don't have feelings about, you don't desire it, you don't even care about it, there is no way you can get that thing. There is no way you can achieve that goal. There is no way that thing, you, 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 it can materialize into reality. So until we learn how to set our affection, everything that matters most to you, all your emotions, you desire to be there, you are done to be there. You are so devoted, you just want to be there. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. That is when you can't be able to get it. And today, instead of setting our affection on heaven, a lot of people rather prefer to set it on worldliness. See, let me tell you something. Like I said, let's remember Matthew 24 verse 35. The Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away. Only the word of God <laughs> can ever pass away. I am going to read the Bible scripture. But before then, can we see together the book of Colossians chapter 3. Colossians 3, 1 to 4. 
and also Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Good evening, everyone, as you join. God bless you all. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Matthew 6, 19 to 20. It's our time that you let go. Like I said, in, in, in the journey of life, you don't want to get disappointed. Allow God to be your focus. Just set your affection. Keep on looking unto him. Keep on, just, just, just let your attention be on him. Desire him. Adore him. Adore him. So that you will not get disappointed every now and then. Today we see a lot of things. Manipulations here and there like I, use, I, 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 I keep on saying. Brother manipulated brother. Sister manipulated sister. Friends, man different kind of manipulations here and there. Nobody is, is, is trustworthy any longer. What is going on? Because of worldliness. Because of worldliness. We pretend to us ourselves because of worldliness. We lie to ourselves because of worldliness. All manners of things because of worldliness. Even when the Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away. What is not real, we pretend as if it is real because of worldliness. What you know you are not comfortable with, you just try to, to manage as if you are comfortable with it because of worldliness. It's our time. We let go and let our affection, let our focus, whatever you are doing, this is what I keep telling people. Let your focus be on God. What we be, we be. What we be, we be. So that every now and then a lot of us or a lot of people out there will not begin to get heartbreak. A lot of people are, are falling a victim of depress depression today, emotional problems today. Why? Because you allow men to be your focus and you leave God out of it. Like I keep on telling us, when you allow God to be in front of you, you put him in front of your melody. Whether rain no, sun no, shine no, in good time, in bad time no, beloved, you will see yourself always happy. Why? Because he who has God has everything. Mama, good evening, my God bless you all. So let's see Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Colossians 3, 1 to 4. God bless you, uh, beautiful people. Mm, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. If then you and I, we have been raised with Christ, we have decided to make Jesus our Lord and our personal Savior. The Bible says that we should seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on those things above and not on the things on earth. For you died and your life is hidden in Christ. Your life is not in the hands of any man. This is what I used to tell people. A lot of us, we are so afraid of men. What do you think that a man can do to you? Nothing. We are afraid of men that can just use their mouth, use their initiative, use their imaginations. Eh? To run, maybe they, 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 they want to just run you down and you are afraid of men that cannot do anything to your soul. A lot of us today, we are no longer afraid of God. We are, you are afraid of man. If I do this thing now, it's like this man will get offended. And you are offending God. Then you don't want that man to be offended, but you want God to be offended. No, things are not done that way. Because the Bible says, set your things above, not on the things on earth. For you died. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him. In glory, somebody. So when you set your affection on things on earth, automatically you are setting your affection on men and not on God and anything can happen. And when that thing happens, we will now begin to run back to God. Wherein you're supposed to first of all allow God to take his place instantly. So you must not be in the front and you will ask God to follow. It's not done. Always be in our front, then we follow. Or else... That boat, it will sink. It will sink someday. So my prayer for somebody tonight is that may our boat not sink. Like I continue to tell every one of us, it's our time you live a life that pleases God and let go of men. This dispensation we are now, do not please men and displease yourself any longer. The error we are now is not the error of displeasing yourself and you want to displease God. The error we are now is the error of somebody please God and please yourself. Love everybody, like I used to say, do not hate. 
Because hatred alone can land you in a fire. You understand? Hatred is not of God. Hatred is of the world. Hatred is of the Satan. And these days, what is causing hatred? What is causing hatred? Worldliness. Worldliness, like I said, because of worldliness. What is nori? People call it to be re. Because of worldliness, all manners of evil here and there. Because of worldliness. Now, the Bible is telling you and I tonight that our affection should be on evil alone, not on men. Not on men. So that you will stay focused. So that you will remain focused in Christ Jesus. Now, like, the, like, like, like he said, so that when Christ appear, then you also will appear with him in glory. That is why I love that song so much that says, I put you in front, mm, in front of my melody. You are all the matters. You are all the matters. The Bible says in Matthew 6 verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added. What are you seeking? Put God in front of you. Let it become what matters most to you. When God becomes what matters most to you, beloved, you will not be moved by anything again. Then your song will be, I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. As I am here, now, nothing moves me again. No, Nothing. I'm only moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. I keep on telling people, the only thing that will move you now, let it be spiritual things, not worldliness. Not worldliness. I said sometimes ago, these are uh, 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 basketball. Uh, th this guy that just died, uh, uh, this man that died, uh, Kobe. When they were measuring the asset of Kobe, where is he now? In a twinkle of an eye, from dust, from dust, from dust we came from. And that dust we are going to return again. Then because of worldliness, these days, a lot of us, you want to bear insult. Insult. Kai! Oh my goodness. You want to bear insult from men because of worldliness. Insult. A lot of us, we bear insult because of worldliness. The Bible says, those that know they are God shall be strong and do exploit. When you know what you carry, you will not allow any man to insult you anyhow or talk to you anyhow because of worldliness. You are not pride. It's not, it's not, there is difference between you know your stand and you know, you will not limit yourself for anybody. You know, a lot of people to just be looking down on you because you think maybe, oh, I don't have this thing. Even when that thing did not come today, does it mean it will not come tomorrow because of worldliness? You bear all manners of insult, all manners of rubbish from people because why? It looks as if you don't know the God that you serve. The Bible says those that know their God shall be strong and do explain. Beloved, I have come to announce to you tonight, let heaven be your focus. Set your affections on heaven. Let it be your focus. Let nothing matter as much to you. I keep on telling people what we be, we be. Don't be an insult because of, because of uh, you want favor from men. A lot of us, we so much limit ourselves. You bring yourself down. I am not talking about pride. There is difference between humbleness. There is difference between humility and proudness and being because you want to get something. You just bring yourself down for people to begin to match your head because you think that what you are looking for is in their hand. Somebody, I have come to announce to you tonight that what you are looking for is not in the hands of any man. Whatever you think you are looking for in life is in the hands of God. Whatever you think you are looking for is in the hands of God. So put him in front of you. Let go of men. Mama Viviana, God bless you. Let go of men. This is why you see a lot of us. We, I, I, I will not. Oh my goodness. I just pray that God will open our eyes to begin to see things for ourselves. A lot of us, you enslave yourself for men because of worldliness. Set your affections on heaven. Let your, let, 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 you, let your focus be on Jesus. For what you are looking for is not in the hand of any man. No man has it to give to you. That is why the Bible says, I will lift, uh, the, the word of God says in Psalm 1, uh, 121 verse 1. Lift up your eyes up to the east from where cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord which made the heavens. And the earth. And the earth. Set your affection on heaven. Let what matters most to you now be God. And every other thing will follow. That is why the Bible says, Seek if the kingdom of God. And every other thing shall be added unto it. A lot of us, like I said, stop bearing insult. Where you don't supposed to bear insult. Because you know that what you are looking for is in the hands of that man. Or is in the hands of that woman. 
as I repeat my words, what you are looking for is not in the hands of any man. What you are looking for is not in the hands of any woman. That is why I keep on telling people that. Let me tell you something. What you are looking for is not in the hands of any man of God or woman of God. What you are looking for is in the end of God. And that is why I keep on telling people, by the time you see maybe one woman of God, you say, oh, I, I, if I don't pray for you, let me see how you'll be able to get to your next level. Because why? You have, this, you, you have made that woman or, or man of God to become the God of your life. Forgotten the God that created that woman of God or that man of God. And that is why a lot of us, like I said, keep on falling victim and victim and victim and victim every day. You keep on falling victim. What you are looking for, if a man or woman of God even wants to pray for you and your faith did not carry it, it will not work. So what you are looking for is in the hands of God and God has given it to you is because you have not seen it. Then when you allow men to be your focus, you, you, you let go of heaven. You forget about your affection. You forget about where that help is coming from. That help will not come. Yes, I keep on telling us that there is difference between strength and grace. A lot of people today, they make it in life with their strength. And the Bible says, by strength, no man can prevail. Yes, I, I keep on telling us. A lot of people today, they make it not with grace. But they just want to make it because they want to make it fast. Beloved, let your affection be on heaven. Seek if first the kingdom, every other thing must follow. So do not bear insult from men. May men, I call them may men. Why? Because you felt that what you are looking for is in their hands. Because you felt that they have it all to give to you. Because you felt that without them, you will not succeed. Because you felt that without them, you will not be able to sleep and wake up. Forgetting the man, forgetting the one that wakes you up every day. Every bright new day, the dawning of, any, uh, uh, of every, uh, every day, it is not our alarm that wakes us up. It is God that wakes us up. If it's that man or that one woman that you think it will wake you up. Maybe a lot of us by now. <laughs> if men were God, I keep on telling people. I shared a video on my timeline, was it not last week? You saw how that pastor was laying curse on himself, not the members, because he's not the creator of those members. So I asked myself a question. If men were God, the very air that we breathe in, if men were God, maybe a lot of us today <laughs> would have been nowhere to be found if men were God. I put you in front, hey! In front of my melody, he is all that matters. I don't know about you. He is all that matters. Now, I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. When you allow God to be what matters most to you, like I said, hmm, you will no longer look down on yourself. When you allow God to be what matters most to you, like I said, you will not allow men to begin to insult you anyhow. Because why? Your life is not in their hand, though. Your life is in the hands of God. There is difference between when you are carrying yourself, you are boasting about God, and you are carrying shoulder. Because the Bible says, pride goeth before a fall. Pride goeth before a fall. So any environment that you see that people just want to begin to look down on people, talk to people anyhow. Because they think that they have it all. Beloved, value yourself. And I keep on telling us, value what God has given to you. A lot of us today, we forget, we, we, we forget about the focus. We forget about the kingdom business. We forget about where we are going to. For the Bible says, where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. We forget about these things and now allow men to be our focus. But tonight I have come to tell to somebody... Set your affection on heaven. Keep looking unto him. Amen. God bless you, man. Keep setting your eyes on him. Keep looking unto Jesus. Know what you carry. For those that know they are God, hey, they shall be strong and do exploits. They shall be strong and do exploits. So if you know your God, you will not allow me to insult you anyhow. Talk to you anyhow. Look down on you and you are. Like I said, there is different of being proud. There is different of being proud. Yes. And like I keep on telling people, if I want to boast, I'm not boasting because I want to boast. I boast in the name of Jesus and I am boasting about my God. I boast about God because I know who God is. He's the only one that will say if you sleep today, tomorrow morning you will not wake up. The only man that can seize your breath. So allow him 
to matter most to you. Forget about men. I keep on telling people, in, in, in the journey of life, when you allow heaven to be your focus, God will always raise people. And when God wants to raise people that want to support you, He will not raise people that will want you to bend your head down. There are a lot of people, because they want to give you knock, they don't want to give you knock for your head. Because the fact is that, oh my God, without them, you will not be able to succeed your destiny. The highest destiny we can succeed in life is to make heaven. It's to make heaven, not this worldliness. I don't know if anybody is, is getting me tonight. They don't want me, you they bow down, maybe they give you knock. And I refuse to bow, I don't know about you, to men. I refuse to bow to them. They just want you to be small. They want you to be small. They, they go, yeah, they give you knock. Kai, kai, shut up there. Am I not the one that is feeding you? Close your mouth. That is why I keep on telling people, try not to be idle. Anyhow. So that no man will look down on you. No man will look down on you. It's our time with the children of God. But the Bible says, for we will know our God and do exploits. You want to do exploits? Know your God. First of all, set your affections on heaven. Have that strong feeling. Have that strong desire. Adore him. Be devoted. Tender hearted towards the things of God. Yes. Put him in front of you. Allow him to matter most to you. Like the Bible test I read talks about three things. That as children of God, we need to seek the things that are above, not only seeking those things that are under in the earth. We also need to seek those things that are above, and it should be the first. It should be the first. And actually, I've come to realize that as Christians, if we are heavily minded, you will see that every day by day, we will keep on pressing to do those things that God has actually asked us to do. Why? Because you just want to get there. You want to be there. I just want to be where you are. Mm. Dwelling daily in your presence. Take me to the place where you are. This will just be your, 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 your home. It, it will not. That is because why you have, you have so much allow your focus to be on God. Your, your focus is no longer on man. It is no longer on man. So, actually, I've come to realize that when you allow God to be your focus, you will see that everything about you daily, we always, you, 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 you desire God more. You desire God more. You want to know him the more. You want to serve him the more. And I am telling you, child of God, when you desire God more, nobody will manipulate you any longer. Nobody eh, will deceive you any longer. Why? Because the more you, 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 the, the, the more you want to know God, the more he, 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 he is becoming more in the inside of you. Yes. The more you know him, the more he's becoming more in the inside of you. For instance, just like a man and a woman, that are into courtship. Every one of us, for the married women, we remember then when we wanted to get married. You understand? A lot of us, even if the man is beating you or shouting on you, you will just try to bear it now. Why? Because you are into courtship. A lot of us, we will never want to bring out the real character. You just bear that, that courtship. Because why? The man is studying you. The woman, you yourself, you are studying. Maybe you are studying your husband and your husband is studying you. During the process of before marriage, oh, eh? you bear all manners of insults. We bear all manners of things. All in the name of this marriage must work. This marriage must work. Eh? Because I am of age. Because I, I, I am of age. This, ah, no. Now we are the devil. See, you will do everything by all means. Let's tell ourselves the truth. You will do everything by all means to make sure that that marriage uh, preparation, it comes to pass and it will definitely come into reality. No man or no woman will want to get disappointed before marriage. Especially when people have already know that the marriage is coming. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Mama Viviana, God bless you. No man or woman. Now, maybe people have already know that you are preparing for your wedding. They've known that the marriage is coming. Everybody knows that the marriage is coming. I am going somewhere. Just like we all know that someday the bride, the bridegroom is coming again. We are preparing for a marriage. The marriage, we will, we are no longer ignorant of it any longer. So if a man and a woman that is into relationship, they do everything by all means. They abide by the rules and regulations. A lot of us that get married in the church, you see some churches we say, six months courtship. So churches we even say one year. One year good courtship. In order for the man or the woman to study themselves, if actually they will be able to, uh, to forbear things in that marriage. So that courtship, they go into the courtship, they will make sure that everything works. Especially when 
All eyes are already on them. Now, and at the end of it all, after the marriage, what will happen? A lot. Anything you see, you will not bear it. Because you don't want people to laugh at you. That is Christianity. No wonder the Bible says, for those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So when you set your affections on things above, like I said, a lot of us will get distracted from the things of God. Why? Because when the world starts failing us, in one way or the other, when things are no longer working, you get, you, 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 your heart is always down. You get things down as if God is no longer God. I keep on telling us God is God all by himself. He got times and season in his hands. He got times and season in his hands. Your own time might not be my time. And my own time might not be your time. You understand? But when you set your affection on heaven, you allow heaven to be your focus. No matter what, you will not get distracted. No matter what, you will not look back. No matter what, you will not bow. You will not bow before man made. Man, how will I call it? These days I call them man made men. You will not bow before men that want to make themselves idols in your life. You will refuse to bow. Why? Because. Your affection is in heaven. So like I said, if two people can bear courtship to make it work, beloved, whatever you think you are going through today, there are some of us who are into a relationship. You don't even know how to let that relationship go. There are some of us, you have even know that this, this woman, this woman, your own self, you are so corny. You are so deceitful. You are so manipulative. But because why? You don't want to offend that person. You keep on enslaving yourself in that relationship. Let go of that relationship and hold on to God. I am telling somebody tonight, yes. Let it go. We have a lot of friends. A lot of yours. You don't even know how to let that friend go. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend you have in Jesus. Like I used to say, I have friends, so I don't have best friends. That is me. I keep on telling people. I have a lot of friends. I am a friend of everybody. But I must tell you that I don't have a best friend. The only best friend I have is Jesus. Not even my husband. Sorry to say, I don't know about you. The only best friend I have, I will never say it's my husband, is Jesus. Not even my husband. <laughs> I don't know if, you, if, if somebody, not even my husband, talk less of worldliness. Because, oh, because of this, I don't know. And you know that this thing is no longer working. It's not working again. I am tired of this pretense. I am tired of this manipulation. I am tired of this deception. I don't know what people see. There are a lot of people, they are smile alone. Now, it pass, now, in fact, corny, 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 corny. Eh? And we keep on asking for wisdom. Father, give me wisdom. Which one? Which, which, which wisdom? Which wisdom? There are a lot of things that we must allow to go. If you want to allow heaven to be your focus, you don't want to get distracted. There are a lot of things that you and I, we must let go. Until you come to that level that you will realize, I put you in front, in front of my melody. Hey, you are all the matters. You are all that matters. Just make room for two. Jesus and yourself. Let it become all that matters to you. Let it become all that matters. Yes. There are a lot of things that are not working. We try to fix it with our hands. You try to just want to make it work. Whereas you have seen that this thing is no longer working. Why? Because you don't want to let go. Why? Because you don't want to disappoint anybody. And we keep on disappointing God every day. You don't want to disappoint any man. When the man that you don't want to disappoint, the man is manipulating you, deceiving you. Like I said, there are some people, their smiles alone. Eh? Just forget them. Forget them. Child of God. I'm that kind of a woman. I can sleep now. I wake up in the morning. I become somebody else. I wake up. I just become somebody the yes, that nobody will even understand. Why? Because I hate manipulation. I hate deception. That is me. Like seriously, like seriously. Yes. I hate it. I don't do it to people. And don't take it from anybody any longer. 
I've come to announce to somebody, run far from those that deceive people, that manipulate people. The Bible says, avoid them. Avoid them. Let them go. Let God matters most to you. That is setting your affection on heaven. So we are preparing for a great marriage someday. Are you ready? Are you ready? Behold, the bridegroom is coming someday. And no one knows the hour, the time, the minute. So the only person you can ever let go is Jesus. The only person you can never let go out of your life is Jesus. Like I said, I put him in front of me. What matters most to me is not even my husband. It's Jesus, yes. Because on the end, at that day, we can only encourage ourselves to make sure that we fight to make it on the end. To make it. We can only encourage ourselves that nobody hmm, should miss it. But let what matters most to you be your God. Nothing more, nothing less. For the Bible says, work it out with fear and trembling. Everybody will bear his own uh, 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 his father's name on that day like we normally say everybody go be a papa name you will give account of yourself i'll give account of myself my husband will give account of himself i will give account of myself as simple as abc so let what matters most to you be god let it be god set your affections on things that are above set your affections on things that are in heaven because why jesus is coming back again colossians chapter 3 that is where i read from colossians 3 verse 4 to 18. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek it first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto it. Seek it first. Some might say how, can, how, how, how would somebody just be thinking of heaven? Why would you think of heaven? Like I said when we are getting married, everything that you want to do on your marriage day is what you are not thinking about. Tell yourself the truth. <sighs> wow, look at my wonderful sister. Happy birthday to my darling sister once again. And, and uh, sorry to say, I really want to say God bless every one of you that have joined me to celebrate this wonderful woman. This wonderful woman of God. Yes. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Mama Susan, happy birthday once again. You understand? What am I trying to say? If you want to get married today, you are preparing for your marriage. Everything. Everything. Amen. Everything you are not seeing somebody. Is that marriage, Joe? Everything you want. You will sleep. You begin to design how that marriage will be. You will close your eyes. You begin to imagine. All your imaginations, all your attention will not be on your wedding. In one way or the other, we all will get married. Whether traditional, church, court, anyhow you get married, married and marriage, you understand? But what am I trying to say? How was your preparation towards your marriage? You will not go and sleep. And you want your marriage to just uh, uh, be, uh, be, be, how will I call it? All your, all your preparation to be in vain. No. You want to do it that when people, at least people, ah, this, this woman marriage, you understand? Oh, this marriage, this marriage. Your marriage will become the talk of the town. Whether good or bad, anyhow you do it. That is how it is. So don't say, how will somebody just be sitting there and taking off heaven? Let me tell you something. By the time we keep on sitting there and taking off heaven every day by day, then you will keep on seeing us doing what God says we should do. Because none of us will want to make it. That is setting your affection on heaven, or rather, heaven will not become your focus. You go sleep, oh, oh I don't even know. As I go sleep, so whether rapture go come, it will help you to pray more. It will help you to ask for mercy. A lot of us, we don't even bother to pray any longer. Why? Because you think that every day by day you go to bed, in the morning you wake up. Yes. So somehow, somehow, the way, when you allow your affection to always be on the things of God, or rather let your focus be on heaven, then even when you want to sleep, you will have the consciousness of, oh, you will examine the whole day. Even when you want to go to bed, you will not re-examine yourself. A lot of people, they died in their place of sleep. Yes. A lot of people, they sleep and they did not wake up. They slept and they did not wake up. So let what matters most to you, nah, just be ever know. I don't know about you. That song has really been a blessing to me. I put you in front, in front of everything I do. You are all that matters. When I saw the flight that crashed, that uh, helicopter that, 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 that crashed, that about nine people, eh, they arrested about nine people in peace. And up to now, they are measuring the asset of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, measuring the asset. The, the helicopter he bought with his money, that was the same helicopter that crashed and killed him. Helicopter that he bought with his money. You understand? When they were measuring the asset, I said, where is him today? Beloved, I put you in front. Put God in front of everything you do. Let him become all that matters. This man is gone. And they are measuring his assets. And let me tell us something. Do you think that money can buy joy? 
Which amount of money will be able to restore the joy of his wife? Whenever the woman look at the children, the memory of his husband and the daughter, only God will be able to heal such a heart. Not the asset. Not the money. When the woman will sleep in the time of winter, he will always remember there is a man that was at, always by my side. Money cannot give happiness. Money cannot give joy. It's our time we set our affection on heaven. A lot of people have this money today. They are not happy. Even when they try to fake this happiness, in no day, in no day, you understand? So the only man that can give you joy, everlasting, is Jesus. So why do you allow things that does not matter, that does not supposed to be giving you edict, to give you edict? Like I said, a lot of us will not be in a place you receive all manners of insult. Why? Because you think that what you are looking for is in the hands of men. Beloved, what you are looking for is in the hand of God. Let him become all that matters to you. Let him become all that matters to you. Refuse to take insult any longer for where you don't supposed to take insult. Because why? Heaven and earth, the Bible says it will go. But only the word of God <laughs> will never pass away. I just give us a very good example. Since sometimes I used to imagine myself, I said, this is an helicopter. Why we still have a lot of people that have not been able to even buy bicycle. They are still living. I don't know if anybody, if anybody is getting me. We have a lot of people that have not still been able to get a bicycle. But they are still living today. They are still breathing. They are still, they are still alive. Well, we have a lot of them that have private jets, helicopter, before you know it, gone so soon. Did they carry the private jet? Did they carry the helicopter? Did they carry the white? Did they carry the trillions? Did they carry the million? Let nothing matters most to you than God. The dispensation we are now, this is why a lot of people are getting distracted every day. Somebody is having two legs. The person not get moto. The person is still alive. Well and elderly, very happy. Why a lot of people will even use their money to get what we am there? We even send them a little grave. You are all that matters. He is all that matters. Hey, let's put him in front, in front of our melody. He is all that matters. It is all that matters. And some people will not say, oh, ah, he's a failure. You are a failure. You are not a failure until you call yourself a failure. Set your affections on heaven. Let heaven be your focus. You are not a failure until, hey, somebody, the only thing that will make you to become a failure, let me be opening our eyes now. I love bringing physical things to spiritual things. The only thing that can make a man or a woman a, a failure is when you fail to make heaven. <laughs> the only thing that can make a man or a woman to become a failure is when you fail to make heaven. Not when you fail to get money. Not when you fail to get fame. Not when you fail to make a name for yourself. And you refuse to make a name for your God. The only thing that can make you to become a failure in life. And eh, somebody. Is when you fail to make heaven. Is when you fail to make heaven. So forget about. People will say oh I am not capable. Oh I am a failure. Oh you are not a failure. Because why? You have Jesus. You are not a failure. Why? Because you know. I had. Your affections is right there. And I keep on telling us. Even the very best of the air, they don't even think of what they will feed on. So I will always tell us in one way or the other, be contented with what you have. Even when you are dreaming big, you are working hard, God knows what will be good for you. I keep on telling us. So let us not just get ourselves being carried away. Somebody wants to give you knock on your head. The person wants your want make you bad, make it a match your head. Why? Because the person feels that what I am looking for is in my hand. I won't give it to her until she bow. Nobody has anything. What you are looking for is not in the hands of any man. And what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Look for Jesus. Seek him and you will find him. Let him be all that matters to you. Seek God and you will find him. I don't know what you are looking for. What are you running the task for? Looking for worldliness. Look for Jesus and those things will look for you. You understand? Seek Jesus and every other thing that you think you are running for, looking for in the ends of men, they will look for you. 
They will look for you. Let him be all that matters. So if you can get yourself prepared, you keep on dreaming about your marriage, you want to make your marriage work by all means, make your, in fact, make, making heaven, make it work by all means. Anyhow you want to do it, make it work. Make it work by all means. Let go of worldliness. Stop looking for men. Look for Jesus. Search for him. Oh, utterly. Search for him. Search for him. Me, I don't know. That is how I live my life, oh. <laughs> that is how I live my life. Nothing, eh? Nothing matters more to me than my God. Nothing. Forget humans. Not be human be. Haba. My people. It's our time we know this God. It's our time. Like I said, I entered my 2020 with fear not. I entered my 2020 with fear not. That is my motto. Not only now, forever and ever. Because even in the Bible, it is written there. Fear not, fear not. We are so afraid of men and, and, and forget about God. Do not be afraid of their faces. This is what I used to tell people. Don't be afraid of men. And you are not afraid of God. Let me bring us closer. Now, for instance, do you know that a lot of us, we fear the government more than, more than God? How? There are most of us, if it's raining now, we don't even take our children, uh, 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 uh. We, 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 we carry umbrella and carry our children and put our children in, inside that rain and carry them to school. I know of some country, I'm happy, God bless you. God bless everyone. You know when I, I like this, I always want to focus. Then later I will go through the comment. Thank you all for your support. God bless you. Uh, sometimes, even a lot of us, we fear our FA, your boss, more than God. If you don't go to work, you, 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 have, you, you are scared. They go sack me. You see a lot of people. We are so committed to activities. Somebody was, was telling me, was he not inside last month? He says, Rachel, your children did not go to school. I said, I have an appointment. I have somewhere going to. Yes, yeah, so. And I looked at it that before I come back, who will help me to go and pick them around 12.30? Nobody. So I said, let them stay in the house. Let me go first and come back. And the woman was like telling me, he... Is that how you people do it in your country? Hey, ba! Do you know that if it's in my country, if they wait 10 minutes after 9, you did not bring that child to school, they will, is the police, they, they will call you. What is happening that your child did not come to school? Fear. But today, even a lot of us, even to take our children to church when it is raining, we give excuses. I put you in front, in front of my melody. Let it be your focus. What am I trying to say? In one way or the other, we are so afraid of men than God. The fear of God is lost in the heart, in the heart of men. And yet, we also want to make heaven. Child of God, I have come to announce to us, it's our time we let go of the fear of men in our heart and replace it with the fear of God. Why? Right now, let your affection, set it all in, all, 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 your goal. Everything that matters most to you should be God. So forget about men. Forget about people that don't want to make themselves small God. For people to worship them. For people to serve them. Because why? They think that they have it all. Beloved, the only person that has it all to give to you is Jesus. I used to tell people, you have what I, you, you have what I lack. How did I used to make the parable? You have what I don't have. And I have what you don't have. Yes. Whether we like it or not, in life, in the journey of life, there is something you have that I don't have. There is something I have that you don't have. There is something I can do that you cannot do. And there is something you can do that I cannot do. That is why I keep on telling people, everybody, bring down yourself. What are we, what, what are we running after? We now leave the goal that we're supposed to pursue and begin to pursue what is meant to even serve us. What is meant for us? We now pursue those things and leave God. We cannot leave God and begin to pursue the things that have been meant to pursue us. Somebody, set your affection on heaven. Yes. So when you keep on thinking about it, you will, not allow, you, you will no longer allow people to begin to insult you anyhow. Take your walk. Take your walk. You will not allow people to begin to look down on you anyhow. Take your walk. Walk with God. I already have a message on that. Walk with God and let go of men. And there is no man or woman that walk with God that will walk in vain. But you can walk with men and you walk in vain. So which one do you prefer? Setting your affection on heaven. It has a lot to say. Do you rather prefer to walk with men and you, and, and, and you and another day? 
<laughs> God will tell you, go away, I know you not. Or rather, you prefer to walk with God and let go of men. Beloved, it has come to that level in our life that you need to make your own decision. It's our time. Walk with God. And God will raise men and women. <laughs> Whether the devil likes it or not, God will raise men and women that will walk side by side. No way you are walking with somebody. The, 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 I, I don't know how people fish. Huh? Like I said, it's, it's no matter of you are proud. You know, nobody say you, 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 you. Some people will say, it's no matter of you are carrying your shoulder. It's no matter of she's too proud. You are too proud. Man, huh. It's no matter of maybe you, you feel that you know it or nobody knows it or like I said, I have what you have. Like my, my, my wonderful sister, my sister, my friend that I'll be celebrating this morning on my timeline. She's a fashion designer. Yeah. Mama Susan, she's a fashion, a, a, a fashion designer. Let me make a very good example. But ask Rachel Musa now, eh? Ask Rachel Musa now to come and cut cloth. I will spoil the customer's cloth. I never get machine for us. I want to. I just want us to place value on ourselves. Because why? You are setting your affection now on heaven. I don't know if anybody is getting me. My sister that I celebrated today, she is a tailor. She sews my clothes. I they give her clothes they sew. Even me, for me to even take needle and mend clothes, my people, I know fit. Mama Queenie, God bless you all. Thank you, everyone. You have what I have. You don't. Have, you have what I lack. And you like what I have. I'm fine, my God bless you. You have what I have and you lack what I have. In one way or the other, there is something that is so special in every one of us. That is why you must set your affection on heaven, not on men. I cannot sew clothes now. But give that my sister cloth. She can sew your clothes in, in the space of one hour. She will just run the cloth for you, run the show for you, run the style for you. It will only take her time. And she will charge you for it. Eh? It will only take her time. But she will charge you for it. But ask me to sew cloth. I cannot sew cloth. Eh, hey, let me take it to the other side. They tell her to come and do what I am doing. Marketing. We have our different hand work. Tell her to come and do marketing. You will not see her on a live video. But you see me on a live video all the time. True or false. So you lack what I have. And I lack what you have. In one way or the other. There is something in the inside of you. I have a lot of them like that. I have a lot of friends. I have another of my sisters. She bake cake. She do meat pie. She can do everything. I call her a multifunctional woman. But ask me to come and do it. Now lie. I don't go fit. But there are some things I can still do now that she cannot do. So what am I trying to say? That is why you must allow heaven to be your focus. Allow it to be your focus. A lot of us will bear insult for no just cause. You bear insult for not just cause. For what? No man has what no man has what you are looking for. Only you have what you are looking for. I am telling somebody. Only you have what you are looking for. And only you have the power to make your destiny work. Only you have the power to fulfill your goal. Only you have the power to fulfill your dreams. Only you have the power to fulfill your purpose in life. That is why you must not look down on yourself. Don't allow people to insult you anyhow or talk down on you. Look down on you. Like I said, you are not proud. It's because you know who you are. For the Bible says those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Put God in front of you. Allow him to become all that matters to you. Stop receiving insult. Where you don't supposed to receive insult. Stop it. Walk out. Walk out. A word that usually says enough for the wise. That's <laughs> what we see. Mama Queenie, God bless you. Yes. Put God. Let him be all that matters to you. Like I said, the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 21. <laughs> it says, where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. Where is your treasure? Where are your riches? Somebody, you are not a failure. The only thing that will make it to become a failure is when you fail to miss heaven. No? So stop looking down on yourself. Where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. A woman, like I said, I don't know why I'm going back. Where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. So you are not a failure. You are not a failure. The only thing that can make you to become a failure is when you fail to make heaven. You have not... I used to tell people, a lot of people say, I don't arrive. I don't arrive. We never arrive. Nobody don't arrive. The president of Nigeria have not arrived. 
the vice president of Nigeria, yes, so I can see you are here for me. The vice president of Nigeria has not arrived. Stop allowing people to tell you I have arrived. You are not. The only time we will arrive is when we get to heaven. And any man or any woman that arrives is a man or a woman that have made heaven to become a focus. And you are able to make it on the last day. Nobody has arrived. President Buhari have not arrived. President Buhari have not arrived. The president of your country has not arrived. Nobody has arrived. Nigeria people, you know what? I don't arrive. What do you say you don't arrive? What do you get when you say you don't arrive? What do you get? Nobody has arrived. And because of I don't arrive, I don't arrive. We will not allow people to begin to ride on your shoulder. Press down your head. Nobody has arrived. Nobody. Until you reach your goal, until you make heaven. Now that time you go no say you don't arrive. Something more than God. I got something more than God. If all I have is Jesus. Is a man or a woman that does not even have Jesus that have not arrived. A man or a woman that does. I, I saw one post that said. A millionaire cannot become a millionaire if you don't have Jesus. The richest man and the richest woman on earth is a man or a woman that have set his affection on heaven and you, you, you just want to be there. You, you, you don't, nobody has arrived. And that is why you must, you must not take insults from people. <laughs> Massacre, terribles. Child of God, I repeat my words. Rachel Musa, I have not arrived though. What do I have? That they will say, I have arrived. That is why I keep on telling people, I don't know it all. I love learning. I love learning. There is difference between humbleness and be stupid. Yes. There is difference between I am humble and stupidity. And stupidity. You understand? So don't take insult any longer from people. Because why? You just think that what you are looking for is in their hands. What you need most is Jesus. What you are looking for is in the hands of God. Fear not. Fear not any longer. Like I said, put him in front of you. Let it become all that matters. Mama, God bless you. Let it become all that matters to you. And it says, where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be also. That is where your heart will be also. So, so long we can, we, we can go to an extent to make our marriage to work. <laughs> God bless you all. Try to go to that extent to make sure that you arrive on that day because we never arrive. I get a helicopter, not me say you don't arrive. Apostle Josie Suleiman has not arrived. Pastor Chris has not arrived. Daddy G.O. Adeboye has not arrived. No man or woman has not arrived. The only thing that will make us to land well on that fateful day is as many that their names will be written on the book of life. Those are the people that have arrived. So, so long we are still breathing, no man has arrived. Mama, you know, say, I love you. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for the love. Nobody has arrived though. So if you allow, you begin to look down on yourself because you think that you are not arrived. You are your own. I keep on telling people, I can buy a cloth of 10 euro from AliExpress. Eh? A cloth of 10 euro from AliExpress. I will use that cloth dress as if somebody will see that cloth. You will think that that cloth, eh? I bought it with 200 euro. Thank God for AliExpress. Thank God for AliExpress. <laughs> Somebody. Thank God for AliExpress. And then when you have 20 euro to buy something from AliExpress, you will not see the one that somebody go and buy. Eh? The person will not buy the one of 100 euro. You will not begin to look at yourself. You that have 20 euro, value that thing. Value what you have so that you will not lose your focus to worldliness. This is where a lot of people we are getting it wrong and wrong and wrong every day. And wrong every day, yes. Even if it's 20 euro, you wear that thing. The way when you go take care of it, show yourself. Even God go look you and say, yes, this is my Pekin. You know what thing they do. Set your affection. And when you allow evil to become your focus, all these things will no longer matter most to you. They will, you will not care any longer. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. Do not bear insult any longer. Yes, Mama Susanna is truth. I shop from AliExpress sometimes. It's not all the gowns or whatsoever that you see me wear. I buy, I, 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 I did say AliExpress. Mama Susanna, no way they talk. 
I didn't say AliExpress. But I used to tell people, it all depends on the value you place on yourself. Don't, 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 don't displease yourself any longer. Begin to please people. Place value on yourself. Fool. Put Jesus in front of you. Nothing more will matter most to you. A lot of people are shy to say, I, I buy something for AliExpress. The AliExpress, not be human being they make them for. Who they make them for? Now, 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 now ghost or now spirit. A lot of the things we even see in shop today, a lot of them get it from China and they put it in their shop. You will go there and buy it 300 euro. They, they, you that buy your own from AliExpress. May God help us. May God help us. So let your affection, when your affection become heaven, heaven become gold. Nothing more will matter most to you. Even if it's 10 euro you have, you'll begin to swim inside that 10 euro. You'll begin to dance. You'll begin to sing on top of that money. Somebody. Somebody. You will be happy. You will see the joy. You will see the joy. Like I said, there is difference between being proud or because you want to be humble. You are not stupid. Sorry, oh. So this, sorry to use this word. This is what is happening in our world today. You want to buy. You just want people to be giving you no. Giving you knock on your head. Bearing insult. Yeah. It is well with us in the name of Jesus. The answer. The answer to what you have. No man has the answer to your prayers. Your pastor does not have the answer to your prayer. No man. No man has the answer to your prayer. Somebody. Yes. The only but the only person I know that has the answer to your prayer is Jesus. Nobody has the answer to your prayer. So why are you scared? Why are you, why, why are you afraid? I keep on telling us that the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, the Bible says, Ask, and it shall be given sick, and you will find knock, and the door shall be opened. No man has the answer to your prayer, and that is why me, like I said, I, am, I, I, I know how to follow, follow. I know how to follow people. I I will not say I am humble because when you are humble, it is not you that will say it. I don't like to use that word. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can say I am lawyer. It is it is it is what people see, it is what people see in you that they will talk about you. You understand? But let not your humbleness become stupidity. Let it not be. Know who you are in Christ Jesus and take your stand. But don't be proud, for proud go it before it falls. So there is difference between, like I said. I want to be humble, I want to be humble, and not becoming stupid. Because nobody has the answers to your prayer. Nobody has a key to your destiny. Nobody has a key to your future. Nobody has a key to your life. Set your affection on heaven. Let heaven be your focus. No man of God has the answers to your prayer. And that is why me, Rachel Musa, no woman of God can do shakara for me too much. You pray, now God the answer. No man of God, even pastor, nothing do shakara for you too much. Eh? So may God help us until we know our identity in Christ Jesus. A lot of us, this heaven, we will fail it. Nobody has the answers to your prayer. Ah, which as I go to church today, I went to church this evening. Ah, which as I went to church this evening. After singing praise and worship, and after praying, my pastor will tell me, Oh, Rachel, don't worry, because you failed to do this thing, this is your prayer, I will not answer it. I will just run fast, fast to go and do that thing. Even maybe when I know it cannot mislead me. It's my spiritual father. It cannot mislead me. I'm just giving an example. Even when I know that this thing. In fact, that pastor that I shared the live video on my wall last week. I heard that the pastor. Mama, God bless you all. The pastor brought a business to the church. I heard that the pastor brought a business to the church. And he duped a lot of the church members money. And that was how the church collapsed. You that brought a business to the church and you eat the church money, you eat the members money. Now, they left your ministry and you were laying costs on yourself, not those members. But if maybe it's the pastor that have the key to their life, if maybe it's the pastor that we pray, it's only him that have the key to say, if you pray, I am the one that will answer. Then I strongly believe that even when that pastor duped those church members, they will still be on that canopy. They're not come out there. Why? Because the pastor is the one that has the key to answer their prayers. But <laughs> how disappointed are men of God and women of God today? Sorry to say, how disappointed are majority of them that think they own the key to people's destiny, that think they own the key to people's life. And you think that when you pronounce something against that person, negatively that that person will walk i keep on telling us the bible says, who is he that yet and it's coming to pass when the lord god of hosts have not commanded it not who is he who 
is he? Who is that man or that woman? When you actually, you yourself, you know that you have not done anything. You have not done wrong. That will lay all the costs on you. That cost will backfire sevenfold upon, that, up, upon their head. Do not be afraid any longer. Because whatever you are looking for is not in the hands of any man. Set your affection on heaven. Let heaven be your focus. Let every, uh, heaven be, be your goal. Stop being afraid of men. Whether a man of God, a woman of God. A, I keep on telling us, a real genuine man or woman of God, we don't want to make him, him or herself as a God in the life of somebody. Lie, lie. The real ones, they will not make themselves to become God in the life of one man or one woman. Stop taking insult from where you don't supposed to be. Taking insult. All in the name of, I am humbled. I am humbled. I am humbled. I want to be humbled. I don't want anybody to say, I am proud. I don't want anybody to say, I'm ready to show that. And where I say, you, 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 you don't want to raise. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to, but I believe that somebody is blessed. Let nobody do shakara for you any longer. Value yourself, whatever you have. Child of God, value it. Put God in front of you. Let it become all that matters. Let it become all that matters. That is a word for somebody. For the Bible says, where your heart is, let your treasure be there. I don't know where your heart is. I don't know what your heart is planted to us. When we walk with the Lord, there is another that says, when we walk with the Lord, in the light of His word, what well, a glory He shares on our way. When we do His good will, He abide with us still. Eh? And to those who we trust and obey, that's all. That's all. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, if only you will act in diligently and obey, all these blessings will overtake you. They will come over you. So whatever God has blessed you with, child of God, value it. Like I said, keep on dreaming big. I'm not saying limit yourself. No. Keep on dreaming big. Keep on working it out. And God will help you to perfect the rest. So don't disvalue yourself any longer. Why? Let not your focus be on men. Set your affections on heaven. And God will see us through in the name of Jesus. So like I said, when our feelings and emotions about heaven get stronger, the deeper we fall in love with heaven, it will help us more to be strengthened. The deeper you fall in love with God, it will help you more to strengthen your faith. The deeper you let your focus be on God and let go of men, it will help you more to strengthen your faith. The deeper. The deeper you love God, the deeper you are so devoted to Him, the deeper you want to be closer to Him, the deeper everything that you are not seeing is heaven, the deeper you, you, you allow it to be, the deeper somebody your faith will be. Because a heart in heaven, I said, is an excellent, oh my God, defend against temptation. When your heart, your affections is in heaven, it's an excellent defense against temptation. It will not allow you to begin to uh, 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 bear what you don't supposed to bear. I don't know if anybody is getting me. It, and a lot of us, when it comes to what we are supposed to bear, we will not bear it for the sake of God. Though. Mm -mm. But when it comes to worldliness, you want to just bear it. You want to bear it. Set your affections on heaven. Can we see the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8? Let it not just look as if this woman, she's just talking, talking, talking. Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. Let me read from the Bible. God bless you. Romans 8, verse 5 to 8. Yes, uh, Mama Susan, at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Now, it's Romans 8, 5 to 8. God bless you for always helping me to put up the scriptures. Because a lot of people, because of time, like I will always say, though, I go for my Bible study and my digging deep every Wednesday as well. I'm just coming back from church. So like I said, anyhow it goes, may the name of the Lord be glorified. So that is why you always see me late at this time. So, and a lot of people still watch the video even after now. And they are always are happy whenever they see the Bible test. Mama Susanna, God bless you. For Mama Viviana, God bless every one of you that always help me to write the Bible test. God bless you all. I appreciate your love. Because we are all, in fact, it is all about our father business. Like I, I have been telling us, it is all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. The Bible says, for those who live according to the flesh. Mm, yes. For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their mind on the things of the Spirit. And let me tell you something. The Bible says a carnal man, a carnal minded man can never, lie, lie, understand the things of the Spirit. They will find it very difficult. It will be like child's play. Ah, what is she doing? 
What are they doing? What is she doing? What are they doing? Mama, God bless you. That is all what you will be hearing. Why? Because they cannot really see what God is doing. But I pray that God will help a lot of people to see what he is doing. Now, the Bible says now is the time. Now is the time. A night is coming when we can no longer walk. Now is the time that you can only set your affection on heaven. Now is the time that you can walk it out. Now is the time that I can walk it out. A time is coming that we can no longer walk it out again. Then it's too late. Then it is too late. Yes. Then it is too late. So the Bible is telling us in Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded, child of God, is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. And like I said, you see, what I am doing today... My, my wonderful sisters that are watching, majority of them, I don't want to mention their names, they know how I struggle with it. I was like laughing at myself. I was like telling them, I can't go sit down for Facebook, to, to, uh, they preach. Like I will always say, it's not all about coming out on social media to preach, that people will know that you are a child of God. Your spirit will bear witness, if of a truth you are a child of God. So if, if anybody like, I rather even prefer to use my platform to do my business, it not consign me. But God knows me, he knows my heart. He knows my name. He knows every of my thoughts. You understand? Now, I found myself doing it because I could not hide from it. And to God be the glory, now I see the more reason why, oh my God, He sent me on this errand. Like I said, it also helps me now to build up my spiritual life the more. It helps me more to study well now. It helps me more to even study more, more. Because there is no ministry without the word of God. It helps me more to study I want to talk about setting your affection on heaven. Like I will always say, I will not come and be talking about prosperity. Nobody will listen because I am dancing. So any topic that comes like this, I want to study deep to really see what the scriptures is talking about. So it also helps me to increase my spiritual life. That is why I say, let everything that matters most to you now be Jesus. Why am I trying to say it? A lot of people will not really understand. The Bible says, then I never really know. It says that carnal minded man is enmity against God. And I keep on telling people, people that will, suck, that, that will support you in business and they will not support you to do something for God. Right from then, they are not your friends. I keep on telling people, yes. People that will support you to make money. They will support you to do business. And they don't support you when they see that you are doing something for God. Right for them, they will not even encourage you. I don't know if anybody is getting me. They will always want to be imagining evil, evil. Every evil imagination of any man or woman against you and I will never stand in the name of Jesus. May their evil imagination continue to befall them in the name of Jesus. That is my, the prayer for myself. Yes. I keep on telling people, where you are real, you yourself, you will have a proper conviction in your heart that you are real. Nothing will shake you, nothing will move you. Because why? The Bible says, uh, uh, for those, for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The carnal mind can never understand the things of the spirit. It will be like, what are they doing? What are they preaching? What are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying? They will not understand. They will not understand. The best thing we can do for ourselves, somebody, is for us to know God. Do. Not, I keep on telling us, yes, it's good we teach ourselves how to fish. Because in one way or the other, we need money. Yes, we need money. But the best thing we can do for ourselves is to teach ourselves to serve God in truth and in spirit. The best thing you and I can advise ourselves is to know this word of God. Nothing more, nothing less. So, anybody, I keep on telling people that we not encourage you, you know what, this ends time now, I beg, know God though, they pray, serve God though, I'm not talking about open, you must come and do it openly. But sincerely from your heart, just be close to God. Sincerely from your heart, let go of manipulation, deception, or whatsoever. Sincerely from your heart, because the Bible says, whatsoever a man sow, that is, is, is going to reap. So, anybody that will not support you to do something or to serve God, wrong. Because they know that when you serve God, you know God, your eyes will be opened. They know that when you are closer to God, there are things you'll be able to know for yourself better. God still speak. So that is why the Bible is telling us that for to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. People will just hate you for no just cause. Why? Because they felt it that 
the way where you take carry the Bible for, Bible for Ed, you become a center point, a mockery to them. Hmm, I think she's going to church morning, noon, and night. Hey, I think she used to pray. Hey, I think she used to do this one. Let them mock you. Let them laugh at you. Don't worry. A day is coming. He who laughs last, they said, he will laugh best. Like I said, nobody has arrived. Nobody has arrived. As so long we all, we are still on this earth. Nobody has arrived. The only time that you, you and I will know that we, we have arrived is when we get to heaven. And it's as many that their name will be written in the book of life. Those are the people that have arrived. Those are the people that their flight landed well. They arrived where? Right now, I still say we are walking on hell. Each and every one of us, we are in a journey of life. You are, you, you, we, are, we are in a boat. We are in a pilgrim. Anyhow, our flight have not landed until that fateful day. A lot of people, their flight have landed. They've died because the Bible says it is appointed unto man to die once thereafter judgment. So when you make heaven your focus, there are things that will no longer matter most to you. You just sit and you just, you just fashion. You just fashion. It no longer matters. I'm telling us the truth. Because the Bible says, but the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Those who are in the flesh can never please God. But you are not in the flesh. You and I, we are not in the flesh any longer. But the Bible says we are in the spirit. So, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in us. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of God, it is not his. It is not his. We are no longer of the flesh. The spirit now dwells in the inside of us. This is why the more reason why you and I, we must not allow the spirit of God, oh my God, to just be there. For their sake. You must not allow it to be dormant. Activate it by doing what? Loving God the more. Activate it by involving yourself in the things of God the more. Like I will always say, just the way we involve ourselves in our businesses. Just the way we involve ourselves in, the, in our businesses. Because why? The things of the flesh actually does not glorify God. Neither will take any believer to where he is. The things of the flesh does not glorify God. Neither will take any of us to where he is. Now, Setting your affection on things above. Setting your affection on, on God is what I'm talking about. We all know Galatians chapter 5 verse 20 to 26. It gives us the things of the spirit and the things of the flesh. It's a very familiar Bible scripture. We see the things that we need to set our, hand, our heart upon. If we actually want to get there. The things of the spirit are those things that are above. That matters most to God. So let us bat our soul. Let so delight yourself in the things of the spirit because your heart beats for heaven. <laughs> your heart beats for heaven. It's, it's an evidence of your sincerity when your heart begins to pant towards God. Yeah. When your heart. <laughs> I used to tell people, you did not support me in the things of God. You now want me to support you in the things of worldliness. Wait, you go wait, old. This is what I used to tell people. You don't support me in the things of God. Then you now wait me to support you. Because why? We want to make money. Then we go add though. Truth is, truth is not bitter. Truth is not bitter. It's not bitter. The best thing we can do for ourselves is to tell ourselves, this God, know and well, serve and serve and well. That is why I keep on telling people, Christianity is not all about competition. This is where we miss it. Let's support each other. Support the kingdom business. None of us, I keep on telling people, nobody get followers. I am of Paul, I am of Apollos. Who gives us the increase? It's God. So I wonder why I, I keep on seeing people, oh, this one, she's taking my followers. Who has followers? Nobody gets followers. Who plants? It's God that gives the increase. It's God that gives the increase. So let's support ourselves to make sure that the kingdom business, just like I will always say, I am not, I, I, I don't want to be here. In one way or the other, somebody is helping me. I, I'm teaching now. I cannot teach at the same time, writing the scriptures at the same time. I'm seeing wonderful comments. Will I be able to do it all alone? No. But in one way or the other, we are here now, supporting the work, of, uh, the work of God together. We are doing it together. You might not really know what you are doing. That is why I always say, every Wednesday, in my platform, it's all about coming together, moving our father business together, doing it together. Only me cannot teach and write at the same time. Yes, it's impossible. It's impossible. Or I just come here, I begin to teach. Yes, at least. God is faithful. He must always make one or two persons to watch it. It's not all about how, how lengthy the live video is. It's not all about how, how, how many shares. It's not all about how many comments. But it's all about how many are getting blessed. It's all about how many are getting saved. 
So I am just a child that just found myself just what I am doing today. I'm just, it's just a privilege. It's a privilege. I'm not boasting about it. It's just a privilege. So it's all about coming together, studying together, teaching ourselves together. It's our time we need to teach ourselves the little we know. What is failing Christianity today is all of, I know it all. Nobody wants to learn again. Because why? A lot of that they've, they've read uh, Genesis to Revelation. Nobody wants to learn from each other again. I know it all. Nobody knows it all. Nobody knows the word of God all. The way you teach John 3 16 might not be the other person, the way the other person might teach John 3 16. The way I can teach this Colossians chapter uh, 2, uh, second, second Corinthians uh, 4, verse 18 might not be the way somebody else will teach it. The way, like I said, John 3 16 might not be the way somebody else will teach it. You understand? So let us learn to support ourselves on the kingdom business. We are not making them for ourselves, but rather we are making them for God. We are making them for our God. That is why I love the Muslims. Sorry to say. The Muslim. Muslim people. Oh my God. I don't know what is happening in Christianity today. I don't know. I don't know what is going on in the, in, in the church of God. I don't know what is going on among the Christendom. I don't know. I don't know. So may God help us all. May God help us all. So it's all about our father business. Nobody is making name. We are not making name. As I am here, I'm not, I'm not trying to make name for myself. Which name? Do I have a name? If God did not give me a name, who will know me? Who will know me? Who am I? Who am I? So we are not making name for ourselves. It's all about the kingdom business. So let's learn to support, support each other. Let's learn to support each other genuinely. So like I said, any, any, any Christian that still live in the flesh, your affection is not in the heaven. And when you end up in the flesh, it's going to be too bad. It's going to be too bad of a truth. Any Christian that live a life that pleases men, and you don't live a life that pleases God, automatically, your affection is not in heaven. So live a life that pleases God alone. And forget about men. Like I will always say, there is a difference between respect. Respect people. Be humble. Be, be, be loyal. But let it not now become a stupidity in your part. Yes, so. By so doing, even you yourself... You are bringing down the God that you carry in the inside of you. You are bringing down the God. You are bringing down the God you are, you, you are carrying in the inside of you. So I have come to announce to somebody, I will not really want to be staying long. Let us try as much as possible to allow heaven to be our focus. Why? Because why? You know that your focus is there. It's the only one that has it all to give to you. It's the only one that has everything. Mama, God bless you for writing the scriptures. Yes. It's the only one. So when you, when you allow the things of the Spirit to overtake you, you will now begin to see yourself manifesting the things of the Spirit in the physical. So let us not be like the doubting Thomas. Let us not doubt any longer. Let us not be like the doubting Thomas that refuses to believe until he sees Jesus. Don't become the doubting Thomas. Whether we like it or not, heaven is free. Fire is free. So don't become a doubting Thomas. So... Walk your way out. Like I said, walk it out. Fight it out. By yourself. Don't wait for any man any longer. To clap for you. Yes, it's good we encourage ourselves. A lot of people are so damn cast. Who are you working for? You are not working for men. You are working for your father in heaven. I have decided on my own. Every Wednesday, let's come together. I am not here, like I said. Please and please, I am begging. Let's come together. Study together. Reason together. And, and, and we will know the word of God better for ourselves. We will know it better. Is what I've decided to do. Once in a week on my Facebook page and on my Instagram. Yes. As I live here now, I will do another one and throw it away. Keep it there on Instagram. Whether the devil like it or not. One, two, three, four, five people will watch it. Occupy till I come. That is another message I am getting prepared on now. Occupy till I come. What are you occupying yourself with? That is setting your, your affection on heaven. Let it be your goal. Occupy. If, I keep on telling us, if we can occupy ourselves in the space of our work, our businesses, we can still occupy those, at least still give, the, 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 the 99 should be for God, then the 1% will be for business. This is what I keep on telling people these days. Yes, let the 99 be for, for, for spiritual pursuit. I keep on telling people, doing worldliness competition, let us compete in the things of God. This is what I keep telling people, forget about worldliness, forget about it. So, as children of the Most High, our pursuit should be to gain more of the things of the Spirit than the things of the flesh. Gain more of the things of the Spirit than the things of the flesh. I want to encourage us with 1 John 
chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. 1 John 2, 15 to 17. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 to 9. I think I'm drawing close for tonight. Like I said, I don't really want to stay long because we just came back. I need to attend to the kids so that they will go to bed. We just came back from church not quite long. 1 John chapter 2, 15 to 17. Let's see what the Bible says. 1 John 2, 15 to 17. Mama Susanna, please, you can help me to write it. Oh my God, where is 1 John? Like I said, a lot of us, yeah, 1 John 2, 15 to 17. Do not love the world or the things that are in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. This is what the Bible is telling you and I. Do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. It belongs to the world. It belongs to the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Forever. I don't know if this scripture makes sense to somebody. I don't know if this scripture is making sense to somebody. This, 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 this was where I started from. You understand? The Bible is telling you and I, do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Hmm. Hmm. The world is fading away. The world is passing away. The world is fading away. The world has been polluted. I keep on telling us, as children of God, we, we, we are in the world, but we don't belong to the world. We live in the world, but we are not of the world. We stay in this world, but here is not your... Here is, you don't belong here. You are only privileged. You are only privileged to be part of this world. But this place is not... So that is why I said setting your affection. Let heaven be your goal. Setting your affections on the things above. Because the Bible says, even with that being told, we can see that the world is fading away. A lot of the elect are being deceived. A lot of people no, no, no longer even have the zeal to be committed in the things of God. But all what we are after is worldliness. Worldly pursuit. No longer the things of God. But the Bible is telling us, even before our time, the world is passing away. The lust of it, but he who does the will. <laughs> he who does the will of God will abide forever. So no matter how you think that you have it all, add it up with the kingdom business. This is what I keep on telling people. God is against poverty, fine and good. But whether we like it or not, even the Bible says it will be very, very much difficult for a rich man, eh? To enter to see why hey hey it will be very difficult but god that is why i said you are rich no matter how it is you are a rich man no you are a rich woman i keep on telling people don't wait until you have private jet or you have a helicopter that makes you to be rich i started by saying somebody helicopter an helicopter that somebody bought with his money god forbid maybe if kobe beant it's not having a helicopter. Maybe it would have still been alive today. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Let's face spiritual things now. Maybe that man would have still been alive today. Himself and his daughter, maybe they would have still been alive today. Only God knows. We don't question him when some certain things happen. But what am I trying to say? I will read Matthew chapter 24 verse 35 for us. Let me go there. I am, in fact, I am coming back to this first John again. The Bible says the world is fading off, the world is passing away, but only those that does the will of their father will abide forever. What kind of, what are you doing? What are you, let me ask somebody, what are you doing for God? What is the will of your father for you? For the Bible says now is the time that we should walk. A time is coming that we can no longer walk. I keep on telling people, if you don't have anything doing for God, try to look for something to do for him, right? Because only those that does this will, we abide forever. A lot and a lot is still yet to be done. The laborers, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Beloved, let us take a look around the world today, what is going on. Without being told, you will know that the laborers are few. 
without being told, we will know that the laborers are few. So like I said, only those that, those that does the will of God, we abide forever. You want to abide forever, do the will of your father, not the will of men. A lot of people don't want to work for God. Why? Because you think that people will doubt you. It is only when you doubt your faith in God that people will doubt you as well. If you don't doubt your faith in God and people keep on doubting you, my brother, my sister, run your race, oh, salvation is a personal business. I keep on telling people. Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Let's see what the Bible says. So that you will know how to position yourself from today. Let your focus be on heaven. Matthew 24, 35. Hmm. The Bible says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my ways by no means. No, no, will pass away. Matthew 24, verse 35. It goes along with 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17, where I just read. Only those that do, do, the word is fading, the word is fading away. And Matthew 24, 35 tells us that heaven and earth will pass away, but my world, my words will by no means pass away. So we are in the world, but we are not of the world. For the world will pass away. We will not pass away if we allow the word of God dwell richly in, in the inside of us and we allow our, our affection to be in heaven. Then you work it out by all means. You work it out. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 to 9, like I said. Philippians 4, 8 to 9. Set your affections on things that are above. Philippians 4, verse 8 to 9. The Bible says, finally, brethren, we are whatever things that are true, whatever things that are noble, whatever things that are just, whatever things that are pure, whatever things that are lovely, whatever things that are of a good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. This should be the things that matters most to you. Hey, somebody. Let it be what matters most to you in this time. Like I said, whether Jesus come 2020 or is still tarry, a lot of men and women have died since the beginning of this year. They have died. But it will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. It will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. So if Jesus tarry, let us keep preaching it and keep preparing ourselves and keep be focused. Because why? The Bible says, meditate on these things. These should be the things that we need to meditate on. The things that are true. The things that are holy. The things that are just. The things that are lovely. I keep on telling people, good name is better than riches. So Yes, so. Good name, it better pass riches. It better pass riches. So this is the time for you to just work it out. Just allow God to be your focus. Allow God to be your focus. And when you allow God to be your focus, heaven as well will be your focus. You will make it, you will not lose it. Because why? Everything you are seeing, your heart is beating towards it now. Hey, what if God just come today? Hey, what if rapture just come now? Will I rapture? Will I go? Oh, let us not be afraid of death, so oh, because whether we like it or not, one day, one day it will come. If I sleep now, will I wake up tomorrow? All this small, small thing, somebody, yes, it will help you to live well. So that because you know that anything can happen at any time. But we don't pray for it, but be conscious of it, yes. Be conscious of it, but we don't pray for it. Like I said, the Bible says we will live long to declare the name of the Lord in the land of the living. It's a promise of God for us. Mm -hmm. For those that know they are God, it's a promise of God for us. So, it's good that we are conscious of heaven. Be conscious of it because one day, one day, we, you want to be there. So, it will help you more to set your affections there. It will help you more to be focused because why you want to be there. And the Bible is telling us again, finally, brethren, whatever things that are true, whatever things that are noble, whatever things that are just, whatever things that are pure, let it become what matters most to you. Let it become what matters most to you. Give room to those things alone in your life. Nothing more, nothing less. And trust God. And trust God. And you will never be disappointed. You will never be disappointed. You will never be disappointed. Mm. We have been. Oh my God. We have seen it. That it is therefore necessary. That we set our affection in heaven. If we must make it to the end. Because the more we love to see heaven. The more your heart passed towards it. The more you want to walk your way out. To get there. It will allow you not to be receiving insult where you're not supposed to receive insult. It will allow you to value yourself because you know the God that you serve. And it will help you more not to doubt God. It will help you more not to doubt God. Do you know that there are certain places you find yourself and you, you yourself, you begin to doubt your faith if you are a Christian. You begin to doubt your faith if God is real. 
You begin to doubt your faith. If of a truth, you are a child of God. Why? Why? Child of God. Know your God and do exploit. Know your God and do exploit. So let what matters most to you be God. Let your focus be on Him. I wrote a post on my timeline yesterday. For those that know they are God, yes. They are like Mount Zion that can never be moved. That can never be shaken. Whether come rain, no, come sun, no, temptation, trials, so no matter what comes, you will not be shaken. Because why? You know that God is still on the throne. Is God all by himself. My prayer for us tonight, Mama, God bless you, is that may God help us. May God Almighty help us to see him someday. May he give us the grace to see him someday. We need that grace. It's not all about how we started. It is all about how we are going to end. May he give us the grace to finish strong in the name of Jesus. I also want us to see the book of, um, I think, Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. Yes, Mama, God bless you. We need that grace. Even as we started, even as I am here now, I still need the grace. I need abundant grace to end well. It's not all about how we start. It is all about how we are going to end. This is what I used to tell people. Like that a man that died in the helicopter. That is why when some kind of cases happen like that, I don't normally judge. Do you know why? Because immediately that pilot said, Hey, oh yeah, everybody get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man don't know, say, this helicopter won't crash. But that girl, the daughter, did not know anything. You saw how he embraced the girl. The man already knows that. See me see there too. Now go I there so. Now go I there so. It's only God. That is if he knows that God exists too. I don't know. I am not there. I am not judging. It's only God that knows what was not working in his heart. It's only God that now knows what he was saying. Because he already knows it that by all means, this helicopter is going to crash. I am going. But the girl was innocent. The girl never knew what was happening. You understand? But the father already knows. The father already knows. He knows that this, this helicopter is just, this is see me see dead. So it's only God that knows what he said at the dying minute. So God knows how he's going to judge every one of us on that day. That is why I keep on telling people, don't say you are too holy. Holy, holy. Oh, the only people don't say I am too early as I am here now. I am not perfect, I am still working towards perfection. I keep on seeing myself every day that I am dirty. I keep on telling God, Wash me, you know, uh, just wash me. Let go of only, only. I keep on telling God, Just clean me, wash me, wash me, oh, wash me. You understand? Oh my god. Hmm. For the Bible says, blessed are the, are, 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 the, are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed for the meek. Meekness. You, a lot of us, we just think that we, we, we have reached the height of God. We are so holy. No matter what anybody is doing, hi, we don't take it as anything again. I'm not talking about the fake men, fake men and women of God. Though. Yes. I am not here for them tonight. There is time and season for everything. Like I said, we already know that by their fruit we shall know them. If you still want a man or woman of God to be deceiving you, you just want to be deceived. You are not, you, by, by this time, you don't supposed to be ignorant of people that are working with fake powers any longer. By this time, you don't supposed to be ignorant of people that are not using the true power of God. By this time, you don't supposed to be ignorant of people that you will just see them. Their fruit alone will tell you if they are real or not. By this time, you don't supposed to be ignorant of those kind of people. So if you still want to fall a victim of their deception, you just want to be deceived. This is what I, I used to tell people. So I am not here for them tonight. There is time and season for everything. Every Simon has his own. I am here because of you and I tonight. I am here because I want us not to miss heaven. I am here tonight because I want us to be focused. I am here because I don't want us to lose our faith. I am here because I don't want us to look down on ourselves any longer. I am here because I want us to achieve our goal. I want us to arrive where? I want us to arrive where? That is why I said, let us set, even they themselves that are deceiving people, I pray that, hey, the Bible says on that day, I will tell them what? Go away, I don't know you. I heal in your name. I prophesy in your name. I do this one in your name. But the scripture said, it's still going to them. Hey, go away. 
I know you not. So my own is that if you still fall a victim of any false prophet or false and false and false, it's because you still want to become their prey. You want to become their, their how would I put it? You, you want to become their pimp on people. You still want to become their remote control. Remote control. You understand? You still just want them to be remoting you. That is why your eyes are not still opened. That is why you still run. You still run after them. But when your eyes are opened, you have seen their fruit. You have designed it. You will no longer be deceived now. So I am not here because of them. I am here, like I said, I don't want any of us to miss our goal. Because the Bible says it does not even want any soul to perish. But I pray that as many that are still deceiving people in the name of God, that they will realize on time and repent as well. And repent as well and god will still accept them so like i said whether we like it or not things are happening every day we are not to judge it's not all about how we started but it's all all about how we are going to end so my prayer for us tonight is that may god give us the grace to be able to finish strong may god give us the grace to be able to end well and uh, if you and i must end well we need to continue to do a self-check on ourselves let's see I, I wanted to go but some scriptures are still coming up let's see second corinthians um I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. Let's see what the Bible says. 2 Corinthians 4, 18. I just hope it should be what I am looking for. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. 2 Corinthians 4, 18. The Bible says, um, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yeah. Hmm. Now, some are puffed up as though I were not coming to you. But I will come to you shortly. But I will come to you shortly. If the Lord wills, and I will know that the word of those who are puffed up, but not the power. For the kingdom of God is not in the word, but in the power. What do you want? Shall I come to you with a rod, or hmm, in love and the spirit of gentleness? So whether we like it or not, that is why I say there is difference between you are proud and maybe somebody is stupid. No, humble yourself, good, but don't be don't become a stupid man or a stupid woman because you just want to be humble. The Bible said I should humble. I should humble. And people will not begin to do you what they're not supposed to do. You still the same Bible say walk away. Avoid them now. Avoid them. Nobody don't arrive. That's why they talk my own. Later somebody will say, hey, it is, it is definitely, the word of God must always go along with what is this happening. If we don't, definitely, like I will always say, before I, I become a teacher, before I become a teacher, I used to say, why will men of God just be preaching and they will be using, giving example? Yes, it's good sometimes. It's good because we, 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 we speak from the word of God and we use what is going on in our world as an example in order for people to know what they should do and what they should not do. Like I keep on using an example of any man of God where you go go meet and the man of God will tell you to pay 5,000 before you want to see him wrong. Such a man or woman, they are not of God. You cannot pay money because you want to see a man of God. Because that power, except maybe they pay to, to, to get their powers. Except maybe they pay to, to, to achieve those powers. That is why you too, you will pay to see them. But they are fruit, you shall know them. So all these kinds of small examples, it will help people to open their eyes. It will expose people. So don't be deceived any longer. So like the Bible says, like I said, the scripture has said it. Jesus is coming back again. I pray that it will not come to a lot of us with a rod, but it will accept us in love. Just like the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He has done it too, and when he's coming back again, it, it, it will only become in love for those that seek him, that worship him, that are able to end well. And may God give us the grace to end well in the name of Jesus. There is uh, something I wrote that I'm trying to see. I think uh, that book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 24 that it says it will be very much difficult for a rich man to enter into heaven. That is why I still say anyhow it goes. Just try to balance yourself with whatever God has given to you so that you will not run out of it. A lot of people money not to enter their head. They're not going to get respect for you might be again. You understand? Money don't sit down. They're not going to get respect for you might be again. And it's not good. It's not good. So, like I said, God is against poverty. But don't, don't, don't amount sweat to the extent that it will not make you to lose focus. You lose focus and begin not to talk to people anyhow. Eh? You now lose focus and begin to talk to people anyhow. May God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 19 verse 24. And let me tell you something. Don't be so jealous of people because of worldliness. That is one thing about me. 
That is one thing about me. Don't get carried away to the extent that you are angry. And don't be angry of people's progress. That is what I still don't like. Don't be angry of other people's progress. But hate what is evil. The Bible says flee from all appearances of evil. Flee, run, run far from it. So that you too you will not be a partaker of it someday. You can run. But don't, don't, don't envy people's progress. Like I keep on telling you, you don't even know how they are making it. And you yourself, you are envy them. You are angry. Wait for your time. There is time and season for everything. He got time and season in his hand. Let heaven be your focus. Yes, so Mama Susanna is a fat. Uh, Matthew chapter 19 verse 24. I was about rounding up. Matthew 19 24. The Bible says, I went down. Mm -mm. No. And again, I said to you. It is easier for a, a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, hmm, With men, this is impossible. Hallelujah, somebody. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things, all things are possible. Yes, so... All things are possible with God. This is what the Bible is telling us. So if we know that with God all things are possible, I think that should allow your focus to be on God. That should allow your focus, just set your aff affection in heaven and keep aligning your heart to pant towards him. And the only way we can make it is by self-examination. Self-examination. Galatians chapter 6, verse 4 to 5. Let us always examine ourselves if we are still in the faith. Like seriously, a lot of people think they are in the faith. But in one way or the other, they are falling out of faith. It is not how we started, but it's all about going to be how you and I, we are going to end. Uh, like I said, Galatians chapter 4, no, Galatians chapter 6, Galatians chapter 6, verse 4 to 5. The Bible says, I think I should be correct. Yes, I'm correct. Let him who is taught the word share in good things. With him who teaches. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that he will reap. That is not what I am looking for. Let me say something. And yes, yeah, so whatever a man sows, that is he will reap. That is not where I'm going to. Galatians 6, 4 to 5. Mm -hmm. I was reading 5. Galatians 6, 4 to 5. But let each and every one of us examine our work. Examine our work. And then we will have rejoicing in him alone and not in another. For each one shall bear his own load. I said it earlier on. Don't envy people's riches. Don't envy people's progress. Be happy for people. Yes. But don't, don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. I keep on telling people. A lot of people use strength. They don't work by grace. They work by strength. I know what I am saying. Yes. They work by strength. They don't work by grace. And a lot of people, like I keep on telling us, they are making it in a very crooked way. And they will end their self in problems. They will end their self in problems. And you, we just do your own, je, je, je. you can't go, they cry. Eh? You can't go, they cry. Why? Because you feel, you feel that God is not with you any longer. Child of God, God is always with you. So examine yourself daily. Don't let anything make you to fall out of faith. Don't let anything make you to fall out of faith. For the Bible says... Examine yourself, self check yourself every day if you are still in faith. Self check yourself. Then, when you keep on self checking yourself, anytime you see that anything want to make it to, to wave, you will bring yourself back quickly again. Quickly be on track, don't get off track, stay focused, don't get distracted. Self examination will also help us to always set our affections on evil, it will not help us to miss it at all. So like I said, try as much as possible to, to work with God and let go of men. God will always raise people, raise men and women that will back you up in whatever you are doing. That is why it is God. That is why it is God. Run with God and men will run after you. Don't run after men. When you run after men, it is at the end of it all, you will cry out because why? The hands of flesh will fail. So let heaven be your focus. Set your affections on heaven and God will see us through. My prayer for somebody is tonight is that may God give us the abundant grace to be able to end well, to finish strong in the name of Jesus. I just want us to ask God one thing tonight. Nothing much. 
Let's just ask God for the grace to end well, the grace to finish well. You might be having your trials. You might be having your difficulties. You might be having the area where you really need God in your life. But let me tell you something. Do not give up. God is with you. Don't give up on God. Hmm. For he has not given up on you. Keep on trusting. Keep on hoping. Keep on believing. And God will see you through. It's not a man that will lie. Not the son of man that he will repent. There is nothing that God has said that he has not, in fact, he has not bring to pass. Nothing that God has said that he has not bring into reality. And that is why you must not allow anybody to make, even when men are trying to mock God in your life, don't give up. They mocked Job. They laugh at Job. At the end of it all, the Bible says, hmm, the later end of Job was far more better than the beginning. It is not of him that run it, but it is of God that showeth mercy. It is not how far, but how well. You are not a failure. The only thing that will make you to become a failure is when you did not make heaven. You are not a failure because you don't have private jet. You are not a failure because you don't even have car. You are still working with leg. You are not a failure because you don't have house. You are not be able to build your own house. You are not a failure because you are a tenant. Don't worry. You still have a roof. After all, you are paying for that house. Tell yourself, true or false. Wherever you are living today, you pay for it. It's not for free. So you are not a failure. The only thing that will make you to become a failure is when a man or a woman miss heaven. No? That is when you are failed woefully. But so long we are still breathing every day, you are not a failure, child of God, especially if you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So may God give us the grace to end well. May God give us the grace to finish well. May God give us the grace to set our affection on him alone. And if you are watching this live video, you, you, you did not still believe that Jesus hey, is coming back again. Whether we like it or not, it's coming back again. Mm -hmm. It's coming back again. It's not everybody that will live until it comes. People are still dying every day. Yes, people are dying every day. It's not everybody that will see that rapture. The very moment a man dies, rapture has taken place already. So it is only God that knows our tomorrow. So child of God, let nothing put you under pressure any longer. Let nothing matters most to you other than God. Let nothing matters most to you other than God. Make him the first man in your life. Make him the first and the last. Make him to be the beginning and the end so that you not get being disappointed every day and you'll be getting, oh my God, I don't even know how to put it. You, you'll be getting heart attack for no just cause. May God give us the better understanding of this message tonight. May he explain it to us in a better form and may he give you, you and I the grace to be able to stand in the time of trials, in the time of temptations, in the time of challenges. May God give us the grace to be able to overcome because the Bible says God will not make us, will not make us to, uh, uh, the scripture says God will not give to us what we cannot overcome. It will not make us to pass through what we know that we will not be able to overcome that thing. In one way or the other, our temptations, our trials, your test time is what brings out the best in you. Your test time is what will bring out your testimony. Your test time is what will bring out that your victory. It's what we bring. There is not, like we normally used to say, there is no test without, there is no testimony without test. You must pass through that testimony in order, you, you must pass through the test before you will testify. You understand, child of God. So my prayer is that if it is because of those trials, those temptations, that a lot of us, we are falling out of faith. Heaven is no longer our focus. You don't want to bow down because, be, be, before a man. And they begin to talk to you anyhow, indirect or direct. Why? Because of, I want this thing. Child of God, let me tell you something. May God give us the grace to overcome. May we not bow before man-made gods. Because of what we are looking for. May you, not, may you not bring down. Oh my God. May you. May me. May you. May me. Not bow before idols. May we not bow before idols. Hey, because of that test. Because of that temptation. Let me tell you something. I keep on telling others. A lot of us have lose focus on God. Why? We not make men to become our focus because we are looking for children. There are a lot of people that are still looking for babies. There are a lot of people that are looking for documents. And because you are looking for a baby, you are looking for a document, you will not want to make one, one man or one woman to become a small god in your life. As if if they don't pray, that document will not come 
or that baby will not come. Child of God, I have come to announce to you. In fact, nobody has the key to answer your prayer other than God. Stop allowing your situation to make men, eh, to take advantage of you. Stop allowing what you are going through to make men take advantage of you. What are you going through? Is your situation worse than that of Job? What are you going through that you allow people to begin to take a, take ride on you or take advantage on you? You will not lose focus. Lose focus on God. Why? Because of that situation. Whether you lose focus on God, though, you, you focus so it is for our own good. That is why I keep on laughing at people that will say, I'm not going to serve God again. You know, you serve God, though, and you're for your own good. You not serve God, though, not for your own good. The Bible says his reward is with him. And it's coming back to give to any man, to, to give to every man according to their deeds, according to their work. So you serve God, it's for your own good. It's not for the good of God. You don't serve God, it's for your own good. It's not for the good of God. So no matter what, never you allow any temptation or trial to make you to run to, begin to run to where you're not supposed to run to. Today it is, it is, yeah, it, it is one man of God in the east. You carry belly face there. Tomorrow is one of, is one woman of God in the west. You go there. Next tomorrow is one man of God in the south. You go there. The other day is one man of God in the east. You go there. Remain. Be fixed. God is God. Is everywhere. Is with you always. Never you allow the situation you are going through to make people to take advantage of you. That is why I have come to encourage us. May God give us the grace to endure, and may God give us the grace not to lose focus, but rather, we we'll continue to set our affection on things that are above, not things below any longer. I just want you to lift up your voice. We all need a grace. I need a grace. You need a grace. May God give us that grace to be able to forbear. May he give us the grace to know that we bear the mark of Christ in our body. May he give us the grace to finish strong. May he give us the grace to end well. May he give us the grace that on that day, hey, we will sing a new song. We will see him face to face. Our name will be written in the book of life. May he give us the grace that our good works, hey, will not be in vain. Will not be in vain. So if you don't still believe in Jesus, like I will always say, Try as much as possible to know him. Now is the time. A day is coming that you will no longer hear scriptures like this. A day is coming that you will no longer hear word of God like this. It will not be before you and your God. So what are you going to tell God at the end of it all? You will tell, is, is that my brother that deceived me? Or that man of God that deceived me? Or that woman of God that deceived me? Child of God, set your affections in heaven. And the only thing that will really make you to know God for yourself, study the word of God, 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 study the word of God. Word of God. Let your Bible eh, be more closer to you than your phone. Let your Bible be more closer to you than your answer. Let your Bible be more closer to you eh, than your phone, your iPad, your Galaxy, your this one, your that one, anyone you are using. Why? Because heaven and hell to pass away, only the word of God will never pass away. And he said, let it dwell in you richly. May the word of God continue to dwell in us abundantly and richly that we will never lose our focus, but God will give us a grace that our focus will always be on him. So our affection will be on him now and forevermore in the name of jesus just join me to appreciate god for his word tonight father i just want to say i give you all the glory it's not by power neither by might by your spirit to say says the lord god of hosts father lord i just want to say thank you lord give us a grace to be focused Give us a grace not to be distracted. Give us a grace to occupy till you come. Give us a grace, oh God, that our affection will always be on you. And it will no longer be on men. Give us a grace to walk with you to the end. Give us a grace to finish strong. Father, if there is anybody in the platform tonight that want to receive you as his Lord and personal Savior, Lord, by your own self, visit that man, visit that woman. Visit that boy, visit that girl. Give them the grace to know you, Lord. Give them the grace to serve you. And as well, Lord, I ask for the grace to continue to serve you in truth and in spirit. No matter what, Lord, give me not the grace to bow before idols. I refuse to bow before idols. I refuse to bow before men. Give me the grace to always stand out and do that which you want me to do for you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for as many that have, have come together tonight, as many that have come to, together that, will, that watch the video or that rather will watch the video now. By your own spirit of the most high, minister your word. Give them a better understanding of this message tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask, oh God, that you give us a grace in this end time as we pass.
pass through the test of time. Give us a grace not to fail you. 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 But rather, Lord Jesus, we will finish strong and we will end well in the name of Jesus. Father, this is my prayer for myself and I also pray it for all my loved ones out there. I pray it for my families. I pray it, oh God, for every man, every woman, every boy, every girl that will seek you sincerely, that will serve you sincerely. Father, let it be their portion. And as many that have not seen know you, Jesus, oh Abba Father, Spirit of the Most High, every spirit of reprobate in them, Father, oh God, I ask that the end of it all, I then know will not be their portion. Give them the heart to always receive you, oh God. The heart to receive your word. The heart to do according to your word. Give us the grace to always be the hearers and the doers in the name of Jesus. And above it all, Father, you don't share your glory with any man. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for how by your own self you have done it again today. To you be all the glory. And I, I continue, Lord, I ask for strength. Straighten me, Lord. Hmm. Straighten me, Lord. May I never be weak. For you said in your word, if I faint not, I will reap. Give me the abundant grace to be able to end well. And you said, I will be hated by all men for your name's sake. But if I endure to the end, I will be saved. I ask for the grace to endure. I ask for the grace to persevere. I ask for the grace to be patient. That no matter what I see, I will never let go of you. Can we just turn that one a prayer point and say, My father, my father, my father, my father, no matter what I see, Father, let me never let go of you. No matter what I see, Lord, may I never let go of you. But rather, may I hold you strong. May I be closer to you. No matter the tribulation, no matter the trials, no matter the persecutions, may I never let go of you, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Once again, Lord, to you be all the glory. I appreciate you, Lord. I give you all the praise. Thank you for what you have done again and the many more you are yet to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, I just want to say God bless every one of you. For those that we are able to stay up to this time, thank you, thank you. Like I will always say, I will not fail to appreciate every one of you. Sometimes I don't love measuring names. Let it not look as if I measure some people. I did not measure some people. But my own is that let's not forget that we are in a journey of life. There is nothing that is causing, nothing should be, how will I put it, should matter most to you again than Jesus. It's the only thing. Put him in front of you and he will see you through. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you want God to do for you. But let me tell you something. Never you let go of God. And stop allowing people to take advantage of you because of what you are going through. Because why? The only man that has the key to your door, that can open the door and no man will shut, is Jesus. And the only man hmm, that, has, that answers prayer is God. Is God. There is time and season. It goes time and season for everybody. Never you lose hope. Never you lose focus. Never you lose hope, never you lose focus. For as many that are helping me to write the scriptures, I cannot fail to appreciate you because a lot of people do watch the video and they are happy. That is why I said, when people are, a lot of you people are commending your efforts, you don't know. We are doing it together. Uh -huh. We are doing it together. Mama Viviana, God bless you, Mama. Mama Susanna, God bless you. For every one of you that you normally used to help me to write the scriptures, sometimes even me myself, there are some scriptures I'm looking for. I will now maybe do fast forward and do backward and do forward to get the scriptures. But if you don't write it down, it might go off. So I really want to say God bless you all for always coming around. Thank you, thank you for always being by me. It's not all about me, but it's all about our father's business. It's a business that we are into and on, that, on the end. And at the end of it, I pray that we make profit too. Yes, because the Bible says those that did not bear fruit, it will call them off. That is the fruit. The profit we need to make for God. So I pray that as we are trading now, we are on a trade for Jesus. Just the way we are trading to make profit in our business. So I pray that on that day, you make a lot of profit. Don't become like that one servant that, that was so stingy. He took his one talent. He hid it again on the ground. Why? He was thinking that it's master. He wants to make profit for God. No. Whatever we think we are doing, we are not doing it for any man. We are not even doing it for God. We are doing it for ourselves. It's for our own good. So you want to know God, know him better. You want to serve him, serve him better. And that is why there is no, there is no amount of anger 
that any anybody will make you to be angry and you will not say i don't want to work work for god again automatically maybe you are working for a man before like seriously i don't like that thing maybe somebody just ah, i don't want to work for god again i don't want to work for god again if you don't work who are you working for you're not working for men you are working for god yes like i said a lot of us even in the church we don't want to we, we don't want to bear maybe bear maybe whenever they talk to us you don't want to bear it but you can bear the insult from your company. You can bear insult from friends. But you don't want them to correct you. No, it's not good. So whatever you think you are doing for God, you are not doing it for any man. Eh? You are doing it, you are not doing it for man. You are doing it for God. Yes, you are doing it for God. So whatever you think you are doing for God, do it well. Whether it is a pain or it is a joy, do it. And at the end of it all, remember the Bible says, if you faint not. You will reap. So God bless us. I will really leave us to go. Like I will always say, until I come your way again next week, Wednesday, by the special grace of God. Thank you, everyone, for always coming around your girl. We study together. All right. Mama Viviana, Mama Susanna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As many that, uh, that wrote the scriptures, your comments, your prayers. In fact, God bless every one of you that have come around to watch the video. Let me leave us to go. Thank you, everyone. Bye. I dimmed the light. Good night.